O'Neill and Odom first, and here comes Kobe out into the picture. And Shaq with a little elbow that never looked at him, looked right over the top of Kobe's head. Now the basketball game. The this is the coolest breakdown. Now if you like content like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button for me. So in this video, I'm going to break down three reasons why we should never forget this Christmas Day matchup. Now, a quick disclaimer. I'm calling this game a forgotten one because this specific Christmas game is not discussed as much as other Christmas games, such as the 2016 Warriors and Cavs or the 2009 Kobe's Lakers versus LeBron's Cavs. Now, let's get to it. Reason number one, Shaq's return to Los Angeles. Now, Shaq had just demanded a trade from the Lakers due to having inner conflict with him and co-superstar Kobe Bryant. So, during the contract negotiations, Shaq demanded the maximum pay. However, the Lakers did not agree. So, Shaq viewed this as them siding with Kobe over him. So, he then demanded a trade and landed on the Miami Heat, marking the end of a dynasty. Kobe and Shaq separated on bad terms, as most basketball fans know. I mean, they couldn't even look at each other here before the tip-off here. <laughs> the tension, personally, between the two superstars just bled on the court. Shaq got his revenge with an impressive stat line. 24 points, 11 boards, and 3 blocks, and more importantly, he walked out of his former arena with the win. Reason number 2, Kobe's 42 point performance. Now when Shaq left, Kobe knew he was going to have to carry the Lakers franchise, so he went on a tear. And this Christmas game is a perfect example of that. He knew the kind of competitor Shaq was and what kind of energy the big man will bring. And as always, Kobe was up for the challenge with incredible stat line of 42 points, six assists, three boards, and one steal. Reason number three, a young Dwayne Wade's first game on the big stage. Now, before this Christmas game, and even before Shaq's arrival to Miami, Dwayne Wade wasn't that big of a name compared to the players who were drafted before him. Now, even though he was drafted fifth overall, and the legendary 2003 NBA draft. Unfortunately, he was overshadowed by the incredible hype of Carmelo Anthony and one of the greatest of all time, LeBron James. This game could definitely be considered as Wade's coming out game, finishing with 29 points, 10 assists, three boards, two steals, and one block on a huge stage like the Staples Center. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Now, if you like content like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button for me. And also comment and share as well. Alright y'all, I'm out. Peace.